Do they go on my head? Do they? Do the pants go on my head? <laughs> no. They go on Everyday moments can become teaching moments because learning starts long before school does. Give your child the start they need at bornlearning.org. Hello and welcome back to this edition of the Airport News Show. We're continuing our discussion about initiatives and things going on at the Aviation Authority that will move us towards being the best airport system in the world. On this segment, I'm very pleased to introduce a couple of gentlemen who make the customer's experience at Jacksonville International Airport one of the best. And so I'd like to introduce Mr. Brian Long, who is the Customer Service Manager for the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks for having us. We're glad to have you here. And next to him is Mr. Francois Buse, who is one of our Jacksonville International Airport ambassadors and also a Customer Service Representative for the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. Welcome, Francois. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for having us. Well, I'm glad that you are here, and part of being the best airport system in the world is, of course, making sure that the customer's experience is the best. And so that's what we're talking about, because in the last year or so, maybe longer, there have been some new initiatives that the Aviation Authority has put into place related to customer service and so I want to sort of get into your world a little bit and find out about some of those initiatives that we've put in place to enhance the customer experience at the airport. Well, one of the biggest things that we've done is we've become a part of uh, the ASQ survey which is an airport service quality survey okay. sponsored by the Airport Council International and what that survey does is an independent survey that airports around the world participate in and what it does is it surveys customers in many different categories from from ba the speed of baggage service to the to the ambience of the airport to the wait time at TSA it covers a wide category of different survey items and from that we're able to get reports and see exactly independently how our customers are doing and how they're perceiving that we're doing for them now, how often are these reports generated? They come out quarterly. Quarterly. In okay. other words, the, the, the ACI will send out a group to our airport to sit down and take customer samples. They actually physically survey the customers within our terminal. And then from there, they, they compile the reports and send them to us on, on a quarterly basis. So I think we've gone through one cycle, uh, one annual cycle of these basically survey benchmark ratings of the airport. How did the International Airport do in 2008? Well, I'm pleased to say that in 2008, uh, overall in the world, we were number five for airports five to 15 million passengers. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we can all be proud of, to say that our city, Jacksonville, has an airport that is one of the best in the world. And also in North America, for all the airports surveyed in North America, we were number five as well. So okay. that's from the biggest to the smallest that were in the survey. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the fourth quarter of 2008, we were actually selected as the number one airport for that fourth quarter. Right. So uh, this is a, a great, a great uh, legacy for us to be able to build on. And it's based on all the hard work that everybody's been doing. Uh, all the airlines, all the tenants that are in our airport, uh, our ambassador program, which we have uh, over 50 volunteer ambassadors mm -hmm. that get out there every day to help our customers, you know, to help them in many different ways. And that's a part of the JAX team. We all work together to be able to do what we can to help our travelers. Now, I was gonna, uh, that was going to be my next question. How important is it that you have the teamwork or cooperation of the tenants, the concessions, the airlines? The, the Transportation Security Administration, the SkyCaps, how important is it to have everybody on the same page when it comes to customer service? Well, we can have the greatest facility in the world, we can have the best location, we can have all the equipment that's new and perfect, but without the people on the ground that are working together, not as independent entities, but as one team jacks to come together and to make it the best, we couldn't do what we, we, we do and we certainly wouldn't be able to rank as high as we are because 
I mean, it's just a matter of having that cooperative spirit. We work very closely together. We communicate with each other mm -hmm. to let everybody know what's going on and to find out how everybody fits to make it one entity, one team, one family. Especially when there's so many people that have initial contact with the customers as they're walking in the door. There's so many points of contact with the customers that that are so critical because it's those experiences that are going to be reflected on surveys and questionnaires. And, and I know that the ACI is not the only way that customers are asked for their feedback. Certainly not. And we have internal surveys that we do ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the JAA action line where people can call. But the biggest thing is that people are actually able to go on our website, which is www.jaa.aero and from there it'll say how are we doing and you can go right to it there's many different links that you can go right into the same survey and tell us how we are doing because without them we don't know without the customer that travels through there we don't know how we're doing what we're doing right and where we need to improve right and along those lines i know that customer service has put together some special events things that we haven't really done in the past on a regular basis talk a little bit about some of those traveler appreciation and other events that we're doing at the airport now well back during the holidays during thanksgiving and christmas holidays we started the travel appreciation weeks and what they were was just a cooperation of the airport tenants the airlines and also the folks that visit jacksonville played a huge part of it to be able to come in and say thank you for the customers that are coming through our airport. And the way we said thank you was that we had special events, we had musicians that came in and performed right in our courtyard. We had uh, the airlines and the tenants in there put on special promotions and, and gave away stuff. And the folks from Visit Jacksonville were wonderful because they actually came into the airport and set up booths that they were giving away free raffles, free samples, mm -hmm. coupons and things to do in Jacksonville, things to see in Jacksonville. Uh, we had uh, everything from chocolate popcorn to uh, Jackson DeVille. And we had all kinds of different things going on out there right. to, to show them. And we're actually starting that because it was so successful during the last holidays. We have our uh, TPC week coming up, as you know, which is for the airport a very, very big deal. We'll have a lot of people coming through there. And so we've chosen that week, 4 through 11 May, to be our next Traveler Appreciation Week to focus on on uh, all our travelers and to say thank you to them. And so what day will there be extra things in there from Visit Jacksonville and other entities? Well, the, they'll start off with the, the folks from the JIA Arts Commission have what we call a, a JIA Art Walk, which mm -hmm. is very similar to the art walks that are going on in different areas of town. And they will have over 20 artists that will be out there. Uh, there'll be artists that'll be set up in the courtyard area and it won't be 20 each day, but this will be on the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th of May from 4 to 8 p.m. And you'll be able to come over. There'll be pictures that'll be making. There'll be uh, uh, jewelry. There'll be all kinds of things that'll be made there that you can actually see them and come up and, and talk to the artist about and ask them how this is done and, and learn from it. Because mm -hmm. it's more about an interactive experience with the, tr the passenger. And then from there, we'll also have, we'll have musicians every day uh, there'll be performers right in a courtyard from a pianist to, uh, to trombone, all kinds of different artists will be there performing in our courtyard. Mm -hmm. And then of course Mother's Day will be on Sunday and, uh, and on Mother's Day our airport ambassadors will be giving out white carnations to our, to our mothers that will be traveling through there. Right. And it all come on out so Monday the 11th of May which with all the vendors will be there set up to give away stuff. Exciting stuff and and it's always a lot of fun when you have things like that because the passengers appreciate it so much. It's so different from most of their their experiences at an airport. But you mentioned that we were number five and then number one for fourth quarter of 2008 in overall customer service. Francois, you were the recipient of a very special award. Tell us about how you were recognized for the, your customer service at the airport. Uh, what did it be, you know, it was not to my surprise because I didn't know that the was award wasn't going until uh, basically, you know, the last minute I was announced, you know, that uh, I was, you know, chosen to be part of the was award ceremony. 
and one of the recipient and so we all you know gathered you know and uh, after a while you know we had uh, I understand you know, from 75 to 50 so is basically you know the best of the best mm -hmm. if I could say so from that you know at the end you know we have uh, 15 recipient you know on different you know category categories and I was you know the one selected you know for Jacksonville Aviation Authority for the uh, the airlines and also you know the Jacksonville Aviation customer service and well, congratulations uh, on that it, it must have been very exciting it was very exact exciting and of course is a moment that you don't expect because you mm -hmm. don't know if you're going you know to be called your name right. going you know, to be there so it's like a big lottery oh, if i could say very you know. nice <laughs> and uh, basically you know they give us uh, at least you know all of the recipients receive you know a rose award pin mm -hmm. and to so the people you know can uh, recognize you as right. a world award was now, as an ambassador, you've been an ambassador for quite a while out at yes. the airport. What's it like being an ambassador at Jacksonville International Airport? And you can only talk about the good stuff. Oh, <laughs> well, there's always, you know, the good stuff to talk about. But, you know, being an ambassador at the Jacksonville Aviation Authority for me is a giving mm -hmm. uh, on a way, you know, that you give to the community back. Um, the way I foresee the ambassador is tied a lot with customer service and the reason I'm saying that because the airports, all airports are on, they spend millions of dollars to get the airport going. But who good customer service and also, you know, good ambassadors will be willing, you know, to talk and direct our traveling public, then we don't have anything. Our ambassadors they not afraid to talk mm -hmm. to their customer. We basically are the eyes and ears of the airport. Yes. We see things and automatically, you know, we go and try, you know, to act on it appropriately. When we listen, you know, to the customer is the same way. Because, you know, we try, you know, to find out if it's a way we can help. We greet all the customer with south our southern hospitalities and, you know, that's give them basically a memorable picture on their mind that not only you know they capture themselves but they be willing to tell their friend mm -hmm. the hospital that they received by the Jacksonville Aviation Authority and I think you know that's what you know we have a great team and again you know like you know uh, Mr. Longo saying Brian uh, we can do it you know just by ourselves so basically is a, a nest was basically, um, I could say, you know, very strong because we talk to each other and if something is working, for instance, we let others know. If a problem occurred during the time period that we're filling, you know, the position, we let the other ambassador who's going to come at a different right. shift know so on a notebook all. and that's what, you know, we're involved in and they can follow up. Right. So we're not l basically dropping the ball. We continue all the time. And that's the way, you know, I believe, you know, our ambassador program is so successful. Well, that's wonderful. And I know people can visit our website, www.jaa.aero, to find out more because we are out of time. Thank wow. you so much. Congratulations on your award. Thank you. Once again, Brian Long, Customer Service Manager for the Jacksonville Aviation Authority, and Francois Buse, who is an airport ambassador and a customer service rep at Jacksonville Aviation Authority. Thank you again. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on this edition of the Airport News Show. We'll see you next time.